And now, NBC3 Sports, awarded Best Sportscast by the New York State Broadcasters Association. It was a marquee night for high school basketball in Central New York. I'm Nico Tamurian, and where else in New York State can you find a season opening tournament with four of the best teams perennially squaring off? That's why we're so lucky here in Central New York. Two great games last night. What a scene at Henninger. The Knights hosting the brothers from CBA. Now, CBA, clutch efforts early. About Matt Burns, the shot clock expiring, drills it from downtown. CBA leads by one. Now, Two seconds on the shot clock. Here comes Nick, a verse of the point guard from the inbounds play. Somehow gets it to go off glass. He called it another three for CBA. But remember, Henninger has a playmaker of their own right here. Number four, Romero Collier. You saw him live in our studio during football season. And man, is he smooth or what? 15 points in the first quarter, 12 of them from beyond the arc. But CBA takes a one point lead at the end of the first thanks to this play. Mati Stroman breaks ahead of the pack, slams it home as the first quarter ends. What a way to end that. Now CBA actually takes a 10 point lead by the time we hit the fourth quarter, but a 13-0 run by Henniger seals the deal. Another classic contest between Henniger and CBA. The Knights win it. 78-72, both teams back in action tonight. Henniger takes on Troy from section two. CBA plays against West Genesee. The earlier game, how about this? West Hill, JD, Jim and Julie Beheim in attendance. There'll be at plenty of JD games this year because this is James Beheim. There's some, of course, on the wing. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Beheim with three points for Jamesville DeWitt. He also does some other things pretty darn well last night. Grabs the rebound off the Jordan Rowland miss right here. And Beheim, six foot five, coast to coast, all the way down the floor. A beautiful around the back move right here. Gets all the way to the goal. It doesn't go, but Dom DeRegis there to clean it up. He had 19 points. And while the Red Rams look good, this night belongs to the defending state champs from West Hill. Tyler Reynolds slams it home. Gets fouled as well. 29 points for Reynolds in this one. And then, of course, it's going to George Washington next year. The D1 bound Jordan Rowland fights his way inside for the bucket. The whistle and the foul. West Hill looks good. Looks like they'll contend once again. They beat a very good JD team, 81-60. I mean, everyone helps. I mean, we already have a lot of experience. We're returning a lot of guys. I mean, but everyone, I mean, a lot of guys got in and got to play, score a little bit, and that's that's good for us. We got a lot of scores. I mean, everyone feels good. I mean, it feels really good to get a, um, like I said before, a good win against a good team.